Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. In today's episode, I have a few things I want to do. First of all, I want to build an XP farm because I'm sick of repairing all my stuff with the XP bottles. It takes forever, I've got to wait for the villagers to reset. And uh, another thing we're going to do is we're going to run some vaults. As you can see, I made a few more crystals uh, off screen. And the other thing is I want to go get some netherite. So that's probably the first thing we're going to do today. We're going to go to the nether and see if we can find some netherite. So let's just get right into it today. Okay, we're now over in the nether. So let's go down to uh, probably Y11, I'd say. It's probably a good level to go to. We're at 70 now, so we've got to go down a bit. Okay, we're at 10 now. I went a bit too far down, but this should do. I'm just gonna... Oh, I've already got vein mine on. I'm just gonna vein mine in this direction. Okay, my vein mine doesn't seem to work. I'm gonna vein mine in this direction. And uh, see if we can find any netherite. Ooh, there we go. We got our first piece of netherite. That wasn't even too long. And they've been mining for a few... Probably not even minutes. For like eight minutes. It's good to see that uh, Vein Miner plus uh, Fast Pickaxe does work very well for finding netherite. There's our first piece, and let's just continue on. Ooh, that's a lot of lava. Let's not continue on. Let's go this way instead. Oh, there's our second piece. And I actually have been mining for a while now, and I haven't found much. I broke one of my pickaxes, and my other one's on 16 left. So, uh, yeah, we might need that XP farm sooner rather than later. Because, yeah... 200 that's not gonna last much longer okay that hasn't even been that long i just went from there to there and that used 200 durability of my pickaxe so it is looks like it, it does look like we're gonna need that xp farm like right now pretty much because it would take me like i don't know take me a bit of time to uh get enough xp to hit uh, um to fix my uh silk touch and my mendy fortune one my fortune one, I can just mine like all this quartz and it probably fix it, but uh, you know, the silk touch one would be a bit harder. So, I think that's all we'll go do now, and we'll come back to this at a later time. So I'm back home now, and it does look like I have enough to make at least one um, piece of uh, netherite. So, we'll make uh, maybe our um, silk touch pickaxe uh, netherite, so we get a bit more durability on that. We have a smithing table back here, so now I just gotta wait for the ancient debris. Sorry, not the netherite. The ancient debris to smelt. Okay, now it's all smelted. Let's make our first piece of netherite. Alright, uh, which one's the silk touch one? That one. There we go, first piece of netherite. And we got 400 durability on it. That was interesting, it was very low. It actually gained durability. It's interesting. Alright, I'm going to collect all the materials for our XP farm, and I'll see you guys over there. Okay guys, we're over in the end. As you can see, i got a sugar box, and I just noticed it seems like one of the other people who play on the server have built a really long, uh, what do you call it, a really long pathway. So, um, I guess I don't have to do this, but I am going to put some slabs across it to stop Endermen spawning on it. Because I have to build out by about 100, and, uh be a lot faster to just place blocks on this and uh, use this. Not sure what it's for. Maybe one of the other people were going to build a farm, but it doesn't look like they have, so I will do it for them if that's what they were doing. But I guess I'll just continue to place these blocks and uh, yeah. Oh, actually, seems like someone died here, so maybe maybe that's what happened and then they just kept going. I don't know. I guess this water doesn't need to be here anymore. Bye, buddy. I wonder what happens if the body hits the void. It looks like it just stops. Alright, let's continue doing this. Okay, we're probably about a hundred odd blocks. I can't see the uh, mainland anymore, so that's what I like. Um, and now I'm just going to grab out some of my stone brick. I love to build in stone brick. And, uh, yeah, let's just get building. So I have to build a little platform. And I'll probably just uh, break this at a later date because I don't really want to do it now. It goes for a bit. It's actually very long, and I'm, I'm not really sure what it was originally for. But yeah, I guess I'll just get uh, building this. There we go. We got the platform up. We got the little area where the Endermen will fall. 
And now I'm just going to have to build up, pretty much. I like to do it... Oh, in my uh, Kingcraft series, I did it in a spiral, and uh, that didn't work very well, so I'm going to do it in, like, uh, what would you call it? Like, layers, I guess. So I'm just going to layer up now. Uh, something something kind of like this, so if I... I need to remove these ones. Like something like this with, like, the little squares going up. I've seen... Uh, I don't remember where I seen that, but uh, I feel like that's the best way to do it. Um, yeah, because they can't spawn in here because it's not, uh, it's not exactly. Well, I'll probably do it in one. So like one here, one. Well, I'll just build them and I'll show you guys what I mean. So like we got this. Remove this one. Then we just got this. Um, yeah, something like this. They can't fall out, but they also can't spawn in there, which is the good thing. And then we just go up a uh, few blocks. Well, 40 to be exact. Well, maybe a bit more. Depends. I did uh, 40 in the Kingcraft series, and they didn't uh, take as much damage as I would have liked them to, so I might go a bit higher. Let's see. I might knock one off and see how much damage he takes, and uh, yeah, that'll probably be my judgment whether I go higher or not. I also just realized I forgot to bring Enderpearl. Oh, no, I got Enderpearls. I forgot to bring a name tag over here, so that's... Uh, Bit unfortunate. I have to go back and grab one. I uh, should have brought a water bucket or something, but because um, I haven't put the roof on yet, and the Endermen are not very happy. Well, they're just annoying. I'm just gonna see if I can murder them. I'm gonna turn my hostile mob sounds off because this is very annoying. Well, I'm gonna turn it down at least. I'm just gonna see if I can knock a few of them off because I need to build there. Uh, I'll show you guys what I mean. See, I got this layer thing that just goes all the way up. It, uh, I feel like it works a lot better than a lot of the other ways to build up. You can also just fill it all in, but it's a good way to save blocks. Probably also do it in twos because they can't spawn there. But uh, one looks nice, so I did like that. Now, Endermen, please all die. Well, this is a uh, new Endermen farm right here where uh, you're inside the farm and they come to you. Brand new uh, right now. No, but seriously, I need all these guys to go. I should have brought a water bucket. Oh, I should have brought a water bucket to get rid of them. Every time I build an Enderman farm, they get in the way. Please, I can't hear myself. Okay, now I need to get out of here. Hope all the annoyed ones are gone now. Ah, uh, wait, there it goes. I'll actually need enough room for an enchantment table here, so I might build out. I'll build out this way a little so I can uh, put an enchantment table here. This should be enough space for the enchantment table just over here. Maybe like uh, some chests as well for some uh, drops. Maybe some ender pearls if anyone needs it for the uh, vault altar. Uh, so if enchantment table went like here. Uh, yeah, that should be good enough. I'm actually probably going to run out of blocks before I uh, finish this farm. But, like I said, I still need to go grab it a name tag, so it's not too bad. Actually, I've just looked in this chocolate box, and, uh, yeah. I kind of forgot that chocolate box existed. I am not about to lie. I am having a bit of a... One of the, I'm having one of those days today. Just keep forgetting where I've put things and, uh... What I've brought with me, but I am going to have to go home and grab a name tag. Luckily enough, I think I do have some name tags around here somewhere. In my junk chest? Yes, indeed. And I don't have an anvil. So I have a name tag, but no anvil. Have you crafted one of these things again, like this? Yes. Good guess. That was a good guess. Usually I forget the recipe. What should we name him? What should we name him? Okay, I've thought about it. I'm going with Gary. Nope, I've changed my mind. Let's go Jared. I have a friend called Jared, and uh, yeah, I'm going to name my, my little uh, endermite after him. Let's hope he's not offended by that. He shouldn't be, though. Whoops, I just almost died. It's like, yeah, I got an elytra. Um, it looks like they cannot spawn on these slabs, which I thought they couldn't, which I assumed they couldn't because most mobs can't. But now I have to grab enough. Actually, I'll just grab the whole shulker box. I am worried this shulker box is just going to fall off the edge. I think I grabbed it. Yeah, I did. So now we're going to fly up. Ooh, I just had a bit of a false start. See, that almost just, that's how you die. If you false start like that. Get a bit of a run up. Alright. Alright, let's just hover for a second. Surely I can hover long enough to fly up there. Come on. Come on, dash. 
Okie dokie. I went a bit higher. Um, no Enderman seemed to want to spawn though for me to test it. So I'm just going to go with that's a good height. Um, but now it's just time to build the big platform. Nothing too interesting. Just place some blocks. I also removed the, uh, the path that continued for no reason. It literally just went nowhere. So, I hope whoever built it doesn't mind me removing it. Okay, now that that's done, we need some um, trapdoors, probably about six. Uh, place these around here like this. We're oh, gonna need more than six. Uh, not a very good guess, and that's not how you make a trapdoor. Okay, what is going on here? That's how you make a trapdoor. Two should do right. Yes, I should be able to guard this. And, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, that's just because uh, mobs don't register trapdoors as uh, blocks and it, when they're open, so they think they can uh, cross them, but they can't because they're dumb. Alright, now the hard part, and I also broke my axe, so uh, that's fun. This is my favourite part of building the farm. Not really. I hate this part. Like this. Um, should be a fair distance. The enderman can fit under there, right? Yes, he can. Um, he just died. That's not good. I may have built this too high. Damn it! I'm gonna have to. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, well. Lucky I have, um, what do you call it? Lucky I have vein mine up because I need them to live. Oh, it's lucky I noticed that before I continue this. I thought I only built it up like three higher. Uh, it's unfortunate. Does he die from this? If I break this trap door, I drop him from this level, will he die immediately or will he survive? Please fall. Okay, he also dies from that level. So let's hope if I go down maybe three or four levels, uh, they live. Okay. Let's see how long this takes. There we go. Finally. Let's just go this. I wasn't sure if uh, maybe he wasn't spawning because there, was there was a rail there, so I just removed the one rail. Okay, now I've got to try and drop him directly on the carpet. So that should be this one, this block right here. Oop, I don't want him to kill me. Please go there. Alright, now I've got to be very careful because I don't want to have to go get another name tag. Actually, before I do this, I need to add the trap doors just to make sure. I don't think it really matters, but I just want to be 100% safe. And I hope that Enderman lived. He did. Uh, I didn't collect all the trapdoors, so i got to make more. God, the pain of not having an axe. Hey, that should be all of them, and now I'll just build back up. Let's just get rid of these blocks. I think he's above. Is. I don't know how I feel about that block being there. Get rid of that one. Alright, moment of truth. Here we go. Please fall, please fall. Okay, yes. Perfect. Okay, he might be to No, he's not too high. He should be at a good height. Yes, that is working. Excellent. That's good. Now we should be able to go kill them. Uh, make sure I've built this platform at the right... Uh, all the right dimensions, I guess you'd say. Alright, let's have a look here. Start hitting some. Yes, see? I should be able to punch these guys. Just not about... Uh, it's probably one-off being able to punch them. But I can pretty much insta-kill them with my sword. Uh... Yeah, I get all the XP. Yes, I do. Sometimes I've built this farm and uh, you weren't able to get the XP, but it does look like you can. Oh, that's good. And now we finally have a steady supply of XP. I don't have to trade with the um, the clerk, so that's good. So I guess we'll go back to... Um, actually, am I getting the XP? Before I finish my sentence? Pretty sure I am. 
Maybe I'm not. Maybe I should. Fi Maybe I should fix that. Have a look. I'm hearing XP sounds, which makes me think I am, but I'm not getting it, it looks like. Alright, so maybe I have to make a fix here. A quick fix. Put these blocks in my hand, and I should be able to kill them all fast enough to place them and fix it. There we go. There we go. Okay, yeah, now I'm starting to get some XP. One, there we go. Okay, now I definitely should be able to get the XP. Yes, I am. Okay, yes, yeah, so now I definitely get the XP. So what I was going to say before I, uh, um, I guess, it's, I don't know, before I, um, lost my train of thought, um, I guess I will heal up my pickaxes, well, my only pickaxe, because I broke one of them, and, uh, go back to netherite mining. So, yep, I'll see you guys back in the nether. Okay, so I did lie. We're not in the nether, as you can see, obviously. And you may notice I am level 8, vault vault level 8 now, and I have 4 unspent crystals. That's because I just did some uh, vault runs, um, and I'm going to run a few more. But I'll show you guys um, what, some of the loot we got. Uh, as you can see, I got a netherite helmet, which is good. And I did get 7 ancient debris and uh, 5 netherite scrap. So now we can actually uh, make our netherite. I'm probably going to make a netherite axe because I need to be able to do more damage um, to mobs in the vaults. Uh, where's my wood at? Right there. Okay. There we go. Uh, do I have enough to make one? Yes, I do. Something like this. There we go. And I'll actually put my enchantments on first. I think I have a sharpness book in here. Um, I do not. So which one of you is my sharpness? Okay, I know there's one in here somewhere. I think it might be you, actually. Nope, you. There you go. 36. I should have that. Yes, I do. Oh, not you. Oh, don't have any books. Okay. Grab two of these. And just, yeah, I was going to say, and again, I don't have an axe. Now I have an axe. Um, ooh, sorry, I did not mean to hit you. Misclicked. Ending. End it. Damn it! Damn it! Gonna have to fix that later. That's annoying. Hate when I. That's why I don't use axes, because I do that all the time. I don't even have any in here. Ah, I have to fix that later. Oh well. Alright, seven netherite. So we have. What's that? Two pieces. So we can probably turn in our chest plate and. Maybe our legs into... I need to put... I'm breaking on this, I've just realised as well. Um, actually, uh, I don't... Yeah, I'll just re-enchant my helmet, honestly. Actually, no, I'm gonna make one... Oh, no, no, no. I'm doing dumb things here, I'm doing dumb things. We wanna go axe. Ending. Uh, and I'm also gonna name him. I'm gonna name him... Copy. <laughs> And that does 12, and the sword does 10. So yeah, that'll be a lot better. And then we turn it into netherite, and let's see how much damage this does. 13, so yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's a bit of damage. Um, and then I'll go chest plate and legs, sure. I'll just re-enchant my helmet. I'll re-enchant this helmet, and uh, yeah. So yeah, there we go. We got a few netherite out of it. I actually have... I'll show you guys the loot so far. I've got about three more crystals. Um, but here's my uh, my chest of some of the loot. So as you can see, I've got two crystals and I've got two non ones ready. And I've got to finish this one. But I actually have, what's this, seven vault diamonds. So that's really good. We need two more to make a knowledge star. And uh, that's where we start getting into um, mods and stuff. I'll show you guys the crafting recipe. Uh, this is a knowledge star. So this is how you get unlock the mods. So we need these star essence. So I have a few of those, I believe. But this is the big thing, the star core. We are uh, need a lot of this. What's this called? La 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 I don't know. That's probably the wrong pronun pronunciation, but oh well. So yeah, I need two more vault diamonds to make a vault diamond block, and then we should be able to make a knowledge start and start getting into some mods. 
Actually, pretty sure I already know what I want to get. Not that. What is the button? It's this button. I'm actually going to get the pretty pipes, I think, because uh, I'm sick of going through all these chests trying to find stuff. It's just annoying. So yeah, that'll probably be the first one I get. So I'm going to continue to run vaults and uh, I'll get that footage to you guys so you can see all the good stuff. I'll probably just show the good stuff that happens because, you know, 25 minutes of each vault, you know. So yeah, let's just jump into the vault. Let's go. Ain't no way, bro. Ah, that sucks. Ah, our first vault death. Ah, the TNT got me. Uh, I knew I shouldn't have touched it, but uh, that sucks. And we just made that netherite too. Ah, uh, well, guess that's the uh, how the vaults go. Uh, it's unfortunate. Damn. Well, I guess we'll just gear back up and uh, yeah, go at it again. Okay, we're kitted up again. We don't have enough netherite to get any more, but that's uh, unfortunate. That's the way it goes, I guess. But I, uh, you know, have an XP farm and villages, so it's not really hard to uh re uh to get all my stuff back so let's just go straight back into the vaults okay guys we're back at home now and uh, I think it's time I finally do some things with these uh, vault uh, core things. So I'm going to craft a, an advanced mending, uh, vending machine. And I have all this stuff. And I might put it right here. I think I just go like this? No. Like this? Okay, I can just click on it. Okay. Because I have a lot of these and I just haven't done anything with them yet. Right, let's see what we got. Two for one enchanted golden apple. That'd be pretty good. Legendary chest. Right click to identify. That actually might be something I'd buy. These vault cookies for sale too would be really good. That'd be very good. Let me see what I can buy here. Is it like this? Yes, it is. How much can we make? 11. All right, let's buy one legendary chest. And uh, let's buy a few vault cookies. Okay, we can only buy two. Ooh, that got us close to level 9. Let's open this legendary chest. What did we get? We got unidentified vault boots. That's very good, I believe. Okay, let's have a look. If I right-click on it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Oh, that is very good, but it requires level 33. So I don't think I can... Yeah, I didn't think I could wear this. But that'd be very useful later. So let's have a look. Repairs. Scrappy. Gives me plus three health and requires level 33. But it requires research vault blacksmith. I guess I'll just throw this in my chest of stuff. Um, and yeah, let me throw my elytra on as well. Okay. Now, I believe we may have enough stuff to make a knowledge stub. I could be wrong, but let's have a look. Okay, so we need a bunch of uh, star essence. I don't know if I have a lot of this, though. Let's have a look. How much can I make? I can only make four. So I need more Vault Essence. I got one, two, three. So I need eight. I got four, which is unfortunate. And then I need to make some of this Leomar. Okay, how much of this do I have? Uh, I don't think I... Oh, I do have one. Do I have any in here? I do. Excellent. Uh, something like this. Okay, so now I 
just need to go like this. Oh wait, I actually need uh can I backcraft these? Uh I don't believe I can. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's really annoying because I had need two more of these so I can make the uh the core. That's unfortunate. Well I only need four more sorry, hang on. If I need Okay, so I actually do need a not four, I need a bit more um Volt a uh, star essence. Uh so we got four shards and we had what like a stack? So yeah, we need about a stack of uh star essence. I'm just guessing that by the way, but uh Yeah, so we're getting closer, we're getting closer. I will turn these vault diamonds though into a did, did I not grab them? Into a vault diamond block. There we go. And I'll put these things here. Because this is the stuff we're going to need for later. There we go. We're getting closer and closer to mods. And I also do have five unbent skill points. So I think I'm going to get... Uh, I'm actually... Uh, vein miner. I don't know. Maybe dash. Oh, dash three. Is it for one? Sure, I'll get dash. So we've got dash level three now. Which is good. I want to get some more damage output um, things. So let's have a look. Yeah. Actually, I might get well fit as well, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, speed might be handy. Um, I don't know if knockback resistance will really help me much. But yeah, I'm going to get another well fit. And I think I'm going to get maybe Executioner. The attack performed within 5 seconds after activating would deal an amount of damage. Maybe Rampage. Play gains a massive damage boost for a time. Okay, I'm going to learn this. And, uh, let's go. Yeah, I think uh, two left. Uh, massive damage reduction. This might be useful, but I think I might actually get Ghost Walk. Because this would be very useful if I get stuck in the vault. Maybe I'll just keep them, actually. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep these two, actually. So now I should be able to go like this. And I guess I get more damage. Yeah, 50% more damage. And I have three hearts, which is nice. So, there we go. Okay, now I think what I'm going to do is do some more vault rocks and i might run a few more and hopefully we can get a knowledge star today so we can get into our first mod okay guys after a bit of uh effort put in and a uh, bit of calling in some favors we finally have enough stuff to make our first knowledge star so i already crafted the centerpiece uh this thing and uh you just uh so you just need a uh, vault diamond and these perfect lami lami li lima lima block gems. And uh, you need well, you need the gems. Then you need the perfect ones, and the perfect ones are just for those. Uh, and we can finally make our first knowledge star. So this is how we get mods. So now we can eat this, and now I have one unspent knowledge star. So let's go into our mods. And yeah, I'm going to definitely get pretty pipes first because I'm sick of going through and looking for stuff. Actually, let's have a look before we just go and make a decision. Um, more chests. Uh, no. Drawers. I can't unlock that. Decorator. Definitely can't unlock create yet. Um, yeah, I don't think we can unlock much yet. Uh, yeah, no, unfortunately. And I don't really want to save it right now. But yeah, I think I am indeed going to get pretty pipes. Um, this is a basic automation uh, for storage systems, pipes that can funnel items as well. Very basic, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So pretty much it's, uh, we now have, we can connect all these chests up and we can just put it like a thing here so that we can just, uh, what do you call it? We just access it all from one bed. Oh, not one bed. One, I, I said bed because we were jumping in the bed, but from one little uh, chest. So let's have a look. Uh, if we go... Oh, can I not do a mod search? Let's just go pipes. I think this is the stuff we need. No, that's engineering. Okay, it's this one. So we've got a pretty 
pipe frame. I'm not sure what that does. And what do we need? So we actually do need iron grates. So we're going to need lots of iron. Stained glass, redstone, and this beniatite. Iron grates. A bit of a strange crafting recipe, I'm not going to lie. What else do we need? Glass. Do I have glass around here? No, but I will grab my sand and throw it in here. Uh, sand. Uh, I do have a bit of glass. Does it matter what color? And does it need to be framed? Are you gonna say no? And hopefully, no, it doesn't. We made eight. Uh, what are, what are we missing? Oh, more of these iron grates. I can make a heap of those. Um, actually, like this. This would be the fast way to do it. So I'm going to have to do some more mining and uh, get some more iron. Alright, so now I think I just have to... Oh, is there like a... There should be an interface, right? Okay, so I think this is the thing we need. Okay, that's applied engineering. So I think it's this one. An item terminal. Um, and what do we need to craft these things? So it looks like we're going to have to craft a few things. Um, and I think these... Yeah, these are a different thing. So I don't actually know if I'll be able to craft these. I don't know if I have the stuff to do it. But we're gonna craft a few of these as well. This is an annoying crafting recipe because I gotta go build this, then I gotta build this, then I gotta build this. Alright. What do you need to make a blank module? Or this Benio tie? I don't think I have any more of that. I do not. Oh, might have some in here actually. Yes, I do, but I do not have a fortune pickaxe. Uh, yes, I do. I've got a 41 pickaxe. There we go. Let's make our first... Oh, okay, not like that. Okay, so we get three blank modules. And now I can move, like... Okay, we need a sticky piston now. Okay, I'm going to do some uh, material gathering and some. I'm just going to craft all this stuff up and I'll be back when I've done that because this is probably going to get very boring, just me hunting for items. So, I'll be right back. I did not realize that I had so much ores. Like, come on, I have a lot of these vault ores. Thirty-four we ended up with. Now we should be able to make a terminal. And there we go. I think I can just place this thing, right? Um, I don't want to put it here. Okay, now that we've crafted that, I believe I just have to connect these to the chests. So I just need to run some... Uh, pipes in my area like this probably uh, going more down and the last one I should be able to access stuff right yes there we go that's what we want it's gonna make my life so much easier I could just come in and go okay what do I need uh, I need some uh, netherrack I need some nether nether quartz, sure, and I need uh, four of it. Send me the quartz. Now I don't have to go looking for everything. Thank God. It did... I'll show you guys real quick. It did increase my uh, how much things are worth, but I think I'm going to go for some of these decorations next time so I can start lowering them, but this will be very useful. I think I can just put stuff in there too. Yes, I can. All right, well, now I just got to connect all these chests up. And like I said, I'm probably going to make an underground area that hides all the stuff. So I'm just going to do that. 
Okay, now that's all done. I was just having a look how much this crafting terminal is. And uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to make that today. Because I need another one of these. And I don't think I'd have enough. Oh, I might just have enough. Um, I'll probably have a look at that off camera and see if I can... Uh, vault? No, I uh, definitely... No, I've just had a look. I definitely cannot afford this. Actually, I think this guy sells... What just happened? Yes, this guy sells some... How much do I need? I need eight, so... Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to afford that. I don't think... I need two of them, so I need even more. I don't even know how to get that. Uh, okay, well, I guess I cannot craft that, but... Yep, now we got a... Got most of the chests filled up. I ran out of stuff, but now I can just... Whenever I need things, come over here and search for it, and yeah. There we go. So we uh, done a few things today. Uh, built the um, what do you call it? The uh, thingo, the XP farm. For completely forgot what I've done today. Uh, we built the XP farm. We uh, finally got into some mods. Well, a mod uh, that'll help us along the way. And we ran a few vaults. Well, for you guys, it was uh only a few, you know, few minutes of vault running. But for me, that was like hours, you know. So yeah, I hope you guys once again enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to leave a like and subscribe as it does help out a lot. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, guys.